Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and today I want to do a quick video of how I fixed my $1,500 3D printer with five cents worth of super glue, a little bit of engineering intuition, and a lot of patience. So, my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon is an amazing machine. I've been printing with it over a thousand hours so far since I got it. I haven't had it for close to a full year yet even, but it's been an absolute workhorse of a machine. So, I really love this machine and I had been planning to use it to print some last minute parts for Division. I wanted to print some wheel hubs and wheel molds, but the problem is I have to cast urethane onto those hubs with those molds. And I have a second printer, but it's way slower than the bamboo machine and the urethane cures for 16 hours. Now I'm flying to open sauce and my flight leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow and my printer stopped working yesterday afternoon. So that left me with an extremely short window to get it working again or else I wouldn't have time to cast those wheels and have them cure in time to get them onto the plane. So when this problem happened, I wasn't willing to just wait around for a support ticket. While I did submit one in case there was a quick fix and talk with support a little bit, I realized that if there was any way to fix the problem, I would have to figure it out myself to be able to get these parts done in time. So let's talk about what went wrong and what I did to fix it. All right, it looks like the extruder is jammed. If I push the up arrow, you can see that the gear does move a little bit, but it's like jittering. If I push down, the gear is just jittering there, so it's not able to be filled. pretty cool they've got like a helical gear driving this thing it's possible it just got jammed that looks like that could just be a jam So once I cleared the filament jam, I tried loading filament into the printer, but I got stuck right away. I had had this problem a few days ago and it kind of went away on its own, and I didn't quite ever figure out what was causing it, but now I had to dig deeper and really figure it out. So the issue is that when I tried to push filament into the extruder, the sensor simply wouldn't detect it, so it wouldn't even try to drive the motor to grab the filament. and. Uh, because I had had that clog, whenever I tried manually feeding it, it wouldn't grab it either. But even with that clog removed, I couldn't seem to be able to manually feed filament and have the printer recognize that there was actually filament in the extruder, so it would refuse to print. Even if I could successfully load it, that filament sensor wasn't activating. So now I had to figure out why that was the case. My first hint actually came before I realized it, when I had taken the extruder apart, I took it apart further than it was strictly necessary. And you can see just here, there is a tiny little bar magnet that is supposed to be attached to this metal arm, and it seems to have broken free. Now I'm not entirely certain what caused this. It could have been just that kinked filament pushed it out of the way, or it could be that previously when I'd had this problem, I tried using a steel no clogger tool that you jam down into the extruder. And it's possible because that's magnetic that it like forced its way in and dislodged the magnet or something. So maybe don't do that if you have a clog with your Bamboo Lab X1 carbon. And I think that it <clears throat> broke whatever tiny epoxy joint it had there and fell off. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can super glue it back into place. The only problem is it's a hall sensor that's detecting this magnet, which means if I glue it on upside down, I think it won't work because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be sensitive to the polarity of this magnet. All right, I got the tiny thing here. I have to kind of hold it because the arm is spring tension, so it wants to keep going back. I'm just going to take the magnet out with tweezers. I don't know, maybe if I hold it this way. Yeah, there we go. Try and get it centered in the arm as best I can there with that little dab of, of uh, super glue. And we've got some accelerator here. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> there's a chance that I just barked it worse than it was before, but there's also a chance that this actually worked. Now we see if I am in fact incredible and actually fix this or not. My tripod is like sketchily lying on the printer right now, so if it falls that would suck, but I can't think of a better way to really do this. I wish there was a way to test this before. I mean, there, there isn't really any way I can test it though. There's just two tiny screws that can hold that in. I'm too lazy to undo the glue and then re-glue that connector, so it's just tethered the whole time I'm doing this repair. Feels like I'm going away. Alright, feels like I'm going to get here. Alright, 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 if I am incredibly smart, then I managed to fix it. Or I could just be dumb and tried something and uh, got the magnet backwards and it'll never work. <clears throat> I have to replace the entire extruder. Let's find out. All right, so customer support got back to me. They said to test the filament sensor, all that you need to do is remove the PTFE tube and try and stick filament down. And you should see that icon change to green instead of gray if it's working. So I think we can see it clearly is not working. So I'm thinking maybe I can actually just pull out the uh, sensor piece without having to mess with everything else. So let me try that. Really the tension on the arm, pull the screw most of the way out, let the arm fall, and then Take out these two tiny screws that hold the sensor board onto that little assembly. And then these two identical screws that hold that little thing together. I guess the only thing I can try now is just flipping the magnet upside down, right? So... doesn't work, uh, I have to admit defeat, and I think there's still probably like a, like an 80% chance this doesn't work just because uh, the universe wants to spite me today, but I guess we'll find out.
All right, wait a damn second. I actually got the magnet right this time. So this arm, it has like some catch points. It's supposed to sit all the way flat there, but it can easily kind of tilt to one side and catch on these grooves. And it should be able to snap back down to there. If I put the filament sensor up against it, and then I push the arm manually, it turns green. I let go, it turns white. So I am going to try this again. Okay. Super, 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 super. Get that filament cutter back. And then I'll put it in there. Alright. Let's see if this will work. I'm loading uh, polycarbonate because, or uh, persimmon PC blend specifically, because it doesn't require being dried and I have it. Rigid, so less likely to cause problems than the TPU that jams again. I'll be pissed. Please. It triggered. It grabbed the filament. We're back in business. Place that filament cleaner thing, but ah, oh, goddamn. So that was quite the relief. The printer was able to print all the parts that I needed. I got wheels cast last night and another set is currently curing right now. So hopefully I'll have eight wheels fresh and ready to go for the open sauce event. If you're going to open sauce, make sure to check out the NHRL booth. I'll be helping the staff the booth. So I'll be there pretty much all day on Saturday and on Sunday. And I also would love to hear if you guys want a full review of the Bamboo Lab Expo Carbon because I've been kind of waiting on that until I hit this thousand hour mark since I don't want to be like all of the other 3D printer reviewers who get the machine for free or with some sort of sponsorship for the video or at best they almost always have an affiliate link in the description of the video so they get paid to basically sell you the printer. Uh, I don't have any of that. Bamboo Lab didn't give a crap who I was when I asked if they wanted to do a sponsored video or send me a free printer and uh, they didn't even respond to my emails so um it will definitely be one of the least biased reviews of anybody who's owned the machine and especially having printed with it for a thousand hours instead of just for a couple weeks i think it'll be a bit more of a good in-depth review maybe i'll break it up into two separate videos just let me know if that's something you'd like to see and if you happen to be at open sauce make sure to check out the booth and say hi that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more like this, make sure to click subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when they come out. And as always, thanks for watching.